Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. We have a question that came in from Ian Doherty, and welcome Ian from Ireland. All right, Ian states, can you please help me in my quest to be a more consistent golfer? I have been using your PPGS for the last two years and have bought the manual and also the driver's swing that yourself and DJ have made. I have lost two shots off my handicap and I'm now playing to a 10 handicap and I've been playing golf for the last 30 years and I'm 48 years of age. My biggest problem is the three wood. I was fitted for new clubs last year in the loft and told the fitter that I have a vertical swing. My problem is that I get a banana shaped shot hook or I block straight right on the long clubs also on the and also on the longer clubs sometimes hit the ground first and the markings on the ground before I hit the ball is not square but curved. I have tried everything to sort this problem out and I can't put my finger on it on the problem. I would be most grateful if you could advise me on what's going wrong. Kind regards Ian. Okay Ian, I think that that number one uh, problem is uh, how long is the club. Alright, it might be too long. Amazingly it uh, a lot of the problems we see with golfers who have drivers in three woods and, and any other fairway woods, if they would have a, a regular four, uh, driver three wood and four wood uh, fairway woods or even a five wood, they're made longer than hybrids. I don't very, I hardly ever see somebody saying they're having problems hitting their hybrids. It's only the fairway woods and drivers, which today are made for most golfers, most golfers are, way, are made way too long. 20 years ago, the average driver was was 43 inches long, and as I've said before, back then Jack Nicholas played a 42 and a half inch driver. All right, and so uh, I'm still playing 43 inches, 43 and a quarter, and 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 so I'm really close to it. I haven't grown any, and and most of uh, most senior golfers our age, uh, yeah, there was to very uh, really tall people, but not like there are today. And most, so what we could we say is the average height for for most people over 60 years old probably somewhere from the five seven to six feet range, and so. Most drivers today are made a minimum, absolute minimum of 45 inches long, all the way up to 47 and 47 and a half in some cases. Way too long, okay? And they make them way too upright, which means that the, the toe sits up in the air and, <coughs> and, and it makes it harder to hit, it's solid. And so they all do these things because that, that toe in the up in the air effectively puts hook on the club to help reduce the splice. A guy like me doesn't need that help. So if, if that's built into the club, you can't take the stripes off the tiger, that's gonna cause problems. So the first thing I would look at is try choking up on your club to see if, if that doesn't help. Another one I would look at, as, I've, as I'm starting to make this more of my mission to bring people into the world, golfers into the world about, about good posture, right? The setup determines the motion. Well, one of the biggest things that can kill setup after alignment is wearing bifocals, all right? And so if you're wearing bifocals and, and you have to look out the top Bifocals, trifocals, or whatever focals you want, including having them in contact lenses instead of on the lenses of, of glasses, you have to put your head down more. As soon as you put your head down more, you, in, in many cases, to look way out the top, the chin is almost tucked on the chest, or real close to it. It's now taking the shoulders, the neck, and, uh, and even your upper back muscles out of, out, of, out of balance, and they're very difficult to lift up. And so instead of being able, in many cases, you can't get even reasonable extension, you're going to be more prone to just lift it up, breaking and dropping down on the ball. So if you've got bifocals, trifocals or whatever, start right there. Get them off so you can, you can take your address when you stand up and you bend over, your, spine, your head stays in the same relationship to your spine and you make your, your, your eyes look downward. So get a good pair of, of uh, glasses without bifocals in them and, and, and very likely sunglasses if you, because if the sun's shining, it's best to keep your eyes protected because it's been proven that the sun can help create cataracts in us uh, in humans. So keep keep the glasses on, sunglasses on. All right. Other issues could be uh, ball position could be too far back on a fairway woods, and that way you're in trying to help them. You you might be coming backwards to try to scoop it up in the air, and so you might want to look at your ball position again. Alignment could be it. Aiming to the right, you have to try to come backwards as you clear from the target. You, your tendency, your weight will shift backwards, and that could hit the ball. Another big one could be check to see if your nose is pointing at the ball. So anytime we want to hit a golf ball, and and uh, say if we play irons in the middle, my nose my nose should always be pointing at the ball. So if I stand here, my nose right now is pointing at the ball, okay, as I look at it. So if I start moving the ball forward, all right, 
if I if I'm right here and I look the ball forward and I keep my head in the same position, my eyes and my nose is now pointing near, and that's where my focus is. So when I, once I move the ball a little bit forward, I need to move to turn my head a little bit so that my nose is now again still looking at the ball. So if you're staying right here and you focus, you feel the focus is right about there, you're going to have a tendency to have to move to get to the ball to get the focus there. And so if you foc if you're if you're swing of your hands to the club to the ball. To, hit, to have the club hit the ball is not consistent with the movement of your eyes and or your body to go forward to catch the ball. You could be chunking it, even topping it or thinning it, okay? So you have to have your eyes always with your nose on the ball. So one of the things is we just turn our head a little bit. And now you can, the test, open your eyes, close them, then open them, and the ball should be in the center of your vision. So if, if your ball was here with your irons and it's moved over there and you close your eyes and open them and you're looking back here where the club is right now and not the ball, you know your head is still is, has not moved to the ball. And naturally, if we use the concept of cocking your head for all the shots, there's a problem that could be happening with every club in your bag. But it will, it will probably get worse as the ball moves forward because that little cock or a lot of cock is even, has the ball even more forward in your stance to the picture in your brain of where your ball is at impact. All right, so we've given you quite a few uh, options here. And I think the first one to start with is, is without a doubt your ball position and the length of your golf clubs. And then, naturally, if you're wearing bifocals, those are the big three. And then, as we talked about some few other points, I think there's a good chance your problem lies there. But uh, always start with your clubs. If you feel like you're hitting a lot of clubs, a lot of good swings with other clubs, and, and, and you have a problem club, figure out it's not, it's, not, it's not the Indian, it's the arrow. All right? It's not you, it's the club. Get it checked. Go see a good fitter. But again, if they're not swing surgeon certified fitters, they are likely fitting to the standards of what the whole world is when it comes to woods. And in our, fit, in our opinion, we think that's way, way, way too long. So uh, most golfers probably don't need any more than about a 44 to 44 and a half inch club. And that means, and I'm saying they're very likely, they better be over, over about 6'2 or 3 to have that length. If you're under 6 feet, I think you're looking at absolutely somewhere between 43 and 44 should be the max of your, of your driver. And then the club's built down from that point. Okay? Well, that's it for the search for today on uh, helping us try to hit the ball more solid and straight to shoot those lower scores. I'll be talking to you all again soon.